So my name is Eric Fleischman. I'm the admissions director for Genesee Lake School and Prader Willi Homes. My first experience in joining the Pathfinders group, uh, it was probably about two months or so ago, and I really wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I'm not a naturally open person. I'm not jumping in line to share my feelings or to share my experiences with others. And so I really wasn't sure how this was going to look. I wasn't sure uh, how it was going to sound. <clears throat> and I remember logging in and I remember being just a very small handful of people first joining. And I got a little nervous because my initial plan, um, and this is just me, you know, not being a very open person, my initial plan was just to kind of sit in the corner and kind of listen and kind of gauge and then be done and be on my merry way. And you can't do that with a small group of people. Um, but before I knew it, more and more people were joining. And by the, you know, probably the first few minutes, there were about 20 or 25 of us, which was comforting because, um, I think it's a little easy to fall in, in between the cracks when there's a large people or a large group of people. Um, but like the concern that I had or the nervousness around talking, around sharing, it, it almost immediately went away. Um, the conversations that I was hearing from people right off the bat, um, they were just very genuine experiences. They were very from the heart experiences. And it was just a very eye-opening experience for me. For somebody that really, you know, I, I kind of had some thoughts as to how this was gonna go, but really, you know, wasn't totally clear on that. Um, but the idea that people were as open and impassioned, that's, you know, were passionate about, you know, their stories and being able to share their stories and not only sharing, but, but being on the receiving end of things, being the listener as well um, was a pretty, pretty powerful experience for me. I think that the Pathfinder groups are incredibly important, just period. Um, when you attend the meetings, it's not only the, the experience of being in that meeting, right? But it is, I think, far more how that translates to outside of the meetings. Um, the domino effects, right? Because when you're in some of these groups and whether you are somebody who's sharing, somebody that's listening, or perhaps just a combination of the two, um, there is an appreciation for each other. There is an appreciation for what we do and the stories that we each have, right? Because everybody has a story. Um, and stories are shared with the good times, they're shared with bad times. Um, and so the opportunity to have that kind of dialogue in a pretty safe uh, space is, is pretty profound and just has, like I said, a domino effect, a ripple effect beyond that. Fellow owners should join, um, largely because of the appreciation that I was kind of talking about really it, it really um, sheds light on who we are as people and not just sitting in an office next to somebody else who's sitting in an office it really puts us on uh, a playing field that is unlike I think a lot of what people get to experience day in and day out which is unfortunate um, but I think when there is that level of appreciation uh, for our co-owners it really again translates to what it is that we do as an organization. Um, because that's ultimately what we're here to do, right? We're, we're helpers. We are here to help those uh, who are in um, a point of need in their life. And I think a lot of that stems from um, who we are as people, which obviously stems from uh, the Pathfinder groups and the impact that it has on all of us.